What's up, YouTube? Um, <clears throat> today I'm going to be doing a review of a product I bought of the um, of the Sony MCRN7 noise canceling uh, noise canceling headphones, and it's these right here, these headphones. Um, the, as far as noise cancelling goes, um, they're pretty good. Uh, <clears throat> like, there's Bose noise cancelling too, I'm sure you've all have heard of those, because they're pretty popular. Because, uh, like, they cost way more money. And, I'm sure the Bose are a lot better than these, because these, they do cancel out 87.5%, but the Bose cancels 99 point, no, not like 95 point something percent. So, uh, I'm just saying, I don't know why I said that, but you know. Uh, you can adjust it, both sides. Uh, it's got a little right and left indicator, so you know which side to put it on. Uh, it... These headphones, they're okay. There's some ups and downs. Some of the ups are, um, well, the noise canceling. So, um, if you're like on a plane or something, I think these would do pretty good on a plane if you wanted to cancel that out as far as that goes. Um, it comes with 25 hours of listening time. Like, there's a battery you need. Let me see. I'm going to try to get it out of here. Ugh. Oh, you press this little button right here, and it opens. There's a little AAA battery in there. Uh -uh. And uh, it gives you 25 hours of noise canceling time, as far as the box says. But if you buy the, these special batteries or something like that, it gives you <coughs> 50 hours, but no thanks. I think I'll just carry a pack of AAA batteries and give me a whole week of noise canceling time, you know? And that's if you're listening it 24-7. I don't know. Uh, anyway, uh, it's got a little hinge right here. You can't really see it. Yeah, you can't really see it. There's a little hinge. Like, look, see it? Makes it so it can bend. <clears throat> so another up is that it's got good bass, and I listen to lots of dubstep. So, you know, that made me pretty happy. However, it sometimes blocks out the other sounds. But that's what happens with most good bass headphones. You know, it cancels all the other sounds. Um, the switch is right here. It's on. Now it's off. The noise canceling. On. On. Um, those are about the, f the only upsides. Oh, and they're very comfortable, too. Kind of. Now, I'm not, the reason why I say kind of, this is where we're moving into the downsides here. They're comfortable. But within about 15, 20 minutes of listening time, your ears start to get really hot. And that's a pet peeve of mine. I hate when my ears get hot because I grew up in a hot state and it's just really irritating to me. And, um, like, normally you'd think I'd be used to it because I lived in a hot state, but it's just really annoying now. It's, it happens too many times. I hate when my ears get hot. It's just a pet peeve. I don't know why. Um, let's see, another con, another bad side, is the sound clarity. Like, when you turn the noise canceling on, the sound clarity, it, it's, it's pretty good. It's, like, it's the best you can get them to be. However, when it's off, it makes, like, this little echoey sound. And I really hate that, like, if I'm gonna spend $50 on headphones, I want them to be... You know, at least a little bit good. Like, here. I have these headphones right here. These ones right here. These are broken. Or, the left one is anyway. Like, this one is broken right here. See? This one isn't. The clarity is better than these. With the noise canceling off. No one needs noise canceling on. The clarity is the same. As far as that goes. But, I don't want to have my noise canceling on all the time. Because I have to keep switching out my battery. You know, it's just, you know, I I really don't like that. And so that's, that's two, two pet peeves of mine. Two in one pair of headphones. 
Um, that's something I really don't like. So I'm debating whether or not to return them and exchange them out for another pair of headphones <clears throat> I had my eyes on. Um, some more things that came with, uh, an airplane adapter, and this folds down for mini, uh, headphone jacks. It came with a little carrying pouch. It's, uh, it's, I don't know what fabric that is. It feels soft, very soft. It says Sony on it. I don't think you can see it. Nope, you can't. It's very soft on the inside. It feels like it's, like, somewhat insulating fabric, I guess. So, it's a pretty nice carrying case. Um, another good side I forgot to bring up, sorry guys, is, um, these fold up for storage, which is why the case is so small, like, you think I could fit this in there? Nope, don't think so. So, the way you do it is you start off like this, you twist them around like this, then you fold them up, and... And yeah, that's basically it. And then you put them in the carrying case. Which I don't want to do right now. It'll take too long. And something I noticed is these are... Whoa, whoops. These are a lot like the lowrider skull candies. Lowrider skull candies. Because look, you can fold this one out and fold it. And then you can uh, go like this. And look, there's a little hinge right there. And, oh, whoops, wrong way. Whoops, I, I did everything in reverse. Sorry about that, guys. Like that, see? Start off like that, right? Fold up. You fold up again. And there you go. See, it folds up just like the little rider skull candies. Except the little band right here is slanted. So it's not meant for that. It's meant for the other way. So I feel that if I were to rate these on a scale of 1 to 10... It's just personal preference. I mean, if you if you don't care about your ears getting hot or sound clarity, like if you don't, the sound clarity is hardly even noticeable. So if you don't care about your ears getting hot, then I would recommend you get these. Oh, sorry, a scale of one to ten. On a scale of one to ten, I'd rate these about uh, seven or six. I'm probably going to return these. I had my eye on these other headphones, but these were noise canceling, so I was interested in them. Uh, these were a real disappointment, because from the looks of it, when I first tried them on, I was like, wow, this is really comfortable, and the sound clarity is amazing, when I, and I had the noise canceling on at the time, and I turned it off, I was like, okay, whatever, but then when I turned it on and off like that, I, I noticed that it was, the noise clarity changed, and so, I just found it to be a real disappointment, um, if I would recommend these, I wouldn't, because they are 50 bucks. If you're going to spend 50 bucks on headphones, I know I sound kind of cheap here, but I normally buy the $10 earbuds, and this is my first time trying over-the-head headphones, over-the-head, and uh, I wouldn't recommend these. But, you know, if, like I said, if you don't care about your ears being hot, it's the main thing. I hate my ears being hot. Um... So, uh, yeah, that's all. Um, please let me know what you think of this video uh, on the comments below. Uh, uh, leave a comment, subscribe, whatever, I don't care. And I'll see you guys next time.